Here are stories making news right now. I'm Rob Johnson. A North Suburban business is offering gun classes for teachers, and they're becoming quite popular. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar has the story. Hey there, Charlie DeMar here. We're on Target Range in Christie. We're offering free concealed carry classes for all teachers. This comes after President Trump suggested the idea of arming all school teachers. And here at the range, they've had an overwhelming amount of support of teachers who actually take the concealed carry class. So just how do they turn the Chicago River green for St. Patrick's Day? As Ed Curran reports, it takes quite a bit of practice. demonstration of what it takes to die in the Chicago River. This all happens on Saturday, which is St. Patrick's Day. And the cool thing this year is the river will be dyed from Columbus Drive all the way west to State Street. It's an expansion of the current dying of the river. And now here's CBS2 meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist with your forecast, and we're seeing a little bit of snow in the area. Well, snow showers will continue for us this evening till about 8 o'clock. After that time, we're going to see it swing more to the Indiana side, just with a little more lake enhancement. But you can see on the satellite radar picture that influence with that upper level disturbance, bringing colder air over the relatively warmer waters of the lake, generating some lake enhancement. But we do see bursts of snow, dropping visibility at times, and some light accumulation is certainly possible this evening. We could see an inch or maybe two inches of snow. This model pulling two total in Waukee. Keegan, O'Hare almost that much as well, and even into northwest Indiana. But again, this all tapers off for the Illinois side later this evening. It swings to Indiana, and then finally drier air sets up for your Wednesday.